If more specific tools are needed to fine-tune users' needs, you find them all within the fine-tuning section. A first fit should have been performed before you proceed with fine-tuning. By default, all changes that you make here will be applied to both ears. You can change that with this button. In the Sound and Loudness tab, you can adjust overall gain in frequency shaping, level-dependent gain, and maximum power output. You can work with up to 20 handles and also mark several channels via clicking and dragging, and adjust the gain for all of them at the same time. It is recommended to use SoundPro 2.0 to manage the predefined settings of noise reduction and microphone settings within the automatic program. The default settings can be changed by clicking here, and a new tab is created in the superior menu, the manual noise reduction. All available noise reduction algorithms will sit here. Performance can be personalized and algorithms can also be deactivated. Automatic directional microphone system is by default activated. If another microphone setup is desired, this feature can be switched off. It's highly recommended to keep the predefined settings and manage them under SoundPro 2.0 unless there's a very specific need to be addressed. In case frequency compression is recommended for users' hearing loss, it will automatically be activated after the first fit when experience level is set to experienced or power. This is how the curve looks when frequency compression is active. Activation and parameters can be handled in the Bandwidth Features menu. Enter the Precision REM tab in case you need to analyze the hearing aid's behavior with a test box like Unity. The Fitting Assistant helps solving specific problems that users may describe. Select the problems they describe and click Apply to adjust the settings accordingly. If reverting to previous setting is needed, click the Undo icon on the upper toolbar. In the Audio Streaming tab, the sound quality from Bluetooth streaming can be personalized. The Streaming Offset describes the differences in gain during streaming in comparison to the hearing aid's gain during regular use. In this example, the user will receive more gain in the lower frequencies during streaming and less gain in the higher frequencies. This setting is optimized for listening to music. The balance between microphone and streaming can also be adjusted in the handle below. If the user asks for reduced surrounding sounds to hear the audio streaming better, decrease the microphone level. Rexton offers a complete toolbox for any fine-tuning. 